What's up YouTube, it's Coach Marcus, back with another video. Today is pretty simple. Be the hammer, not the nail. I know you hear that sound. Let's get right to it, class and in session. What's up, YouTube? We're here in a live session. This is uh, Be the Hammer, Not the Nail. All right, so check this out. This is how this is gonna work. When you drive in the basketball, I've noticed in a lot of games, players are struggling with this. The way the, pro the progression of a drive works like this. When he starts to drive into me, this is the steps that happens. There's space between he and I. He's gonna step into the space. That's the first thing. Second thing is gonna happen, there's gonna be some sort of contact between he and I. Either I'm gonna hit him or he's gonna hit me. What we want to press upon today is him hitting me first. We want to be the hammer, not the nail. All right, so here's how this drill is going to work. Go ahead and reset, bro. This pad's going to simulate somebody trying to get uh, physical with you when you start to dribble downhill. We're going to keep it simple. We'll start in pivot triple threat just for feel. What Jacob's going to do is he's going to step downhill into the paint. As soon as he steps downhill into the paint, I'm going to try to hit him first, just like a defender would. His job will be to hit me first. Now, here's how he's going to hit me. He's not gonna extend. He's gonna use his shoulder and his arm as like a shield and protection. So he's gonna be hitting me this way. He's not extending, none of this. He's gonna hit me because there's gonna be contact. I'm coming into him, my arm will hit him first. Does that make sense to everybody? All right, so when he hits me first, what we'll do is we're gonna add a change of direction. This is a great way to work on this. Changing direction is done, um, it's harder to do with contact, which is why a lot of players don't do it. So what we're gonna do is, no jabs, he's gonna cross step with his left, we'll go right to left first, into me, downhill, he's gonna skip, split through, and then go finish, we'll keep it simple, all right? Excuse me, the key here is to be the hammer, not the nail, I'm going to try to hit you, you should be hitting me first. Do not let me hit you, hit me first. All right, questions at all? All right, Jay, you ready? All right, go. Good, make sure you skip, go. Make sure you skip, go. Good, go. I didn't tell you to go first. I'll tell you when. Make sure I'm ready. Go. You're good, skip, go through, you're fine. Go. You're good, perfect. No, that's it. Go. All right, freeze there, come on back. Let's go one more each. Jacob, go first. Now there's two points of contact that I didn't mention. First one comes when you're stepping into me into space. Second point of contact is when he exchanges the basketball, his now right hand should become his other protection. He's gonna keep me here, so I should feel some kind of swipe or hold here while he gets downhill. Does that make sense? Okay, so inside hand first, going to your right, skip through, and then obviously use your opposite hand to hit me again. Go. Good. Go. Good. I'll tell you when. Go. You gotta be the hammer, Mark. Go. You're late. You gotta be the hammer. Go. See? Good job, man. Go, 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 finish, go, finish, go, finish. Be the hammer, not the nail. Go. All right. All right, so we're back here in class. Now, from that live session, as you heard me say, the famous quote from a good buddy of mine. He actually played football, uh, Division I, and uh, he always tells me this. You wanna be the hammer, not the nail. Okay, so in our previous video, I'm not sure if you saw that video, but I'm gonna put a link in the description down below so you can check that one out first. This is a play on that video. Now we're talking more about the offhand. So when you're playing basketball, players have to understand, I watch it all the time, you guys do not use your offhand. You dribble and this hand just hangs and does nothing. This offhand, your offhand is your weapon. So whatever hand that I'm not dribbling with, you must learn to be active with that hand. That is imperative if you want to take your game to the next level. Now, in our previous video, I kind of talked about the progression of how a drive works. First, you step into open space, then there's body contact. Now I want to talk about that body contact in particular. When you step into space and you're driving against a defender, you do have the option of using your offhand. I call it a shield. So what happens is, as you saw in the live session, when we drive, we want to drive with that offhand up. All right, so there's a difference when you're a kid, you see players do these different drills, they're dribbling and holding the ball, holding one offhand up, and doing this kind of stuff when they're dribbling. 
That's part of it. But what happens is your hand can't just stand there. You have to move it, it has to be active. So what we were working on that live session is being the hammer, not the nail. So when I step into that open space as an offensive basketball player, I must know and understand that there's going to be contact. If I'm the first and I deliver the first hit with my offhand, I will have the advantage. If I am not the hammer and I'm the nail and the defense hits me first, then they have the advantage. It's pretty simple. So what we're working on in this particular session is when we're driving, we're using that offhand as a shield to get our offhand into the defender's hip. We don't extend it because you can't do that, but I can definitely put it out in front of me and use it to keep the defense from getting on to my body. Keeping them, we call it keeping them there. You've heard me say that in the live session. When they get control, when you have the defense with your offhand as you're driving on your hip, you want to keep dribbling and keep them there. This is legal. As long as I don't push off or hook them, I'm good to go. So the takeaway from this one, again, short and sweet today, no dubs, no nothing, just letting you know, when you are also working on your drives, use your offhand. If you have a trainer or a coach or a friend or a better player that you can practice this with, when you have them defend you and give you contact, work on using that offhand to keep them at bay. If you can add that little piece to your game, Again, it just makes it that much easier for you to get advantages on the offensive side. I just watched it this past weekend, and I'm telling you that all good players use their offhand. Players that don't are the ones that struggle with the physicality of the game. Don't let that be you. This wraps up our video for today. We'll be back with another one. Make sure you check out the one that we did last uh, week or last time. It's in the description will be in the comments. And uh, we'll see you on our next video.